Hey, what's up? So, uh, it's a little dark. <laughs> Not much I can I can do about that. Pretty sure it's illegal to drive with the uh, the lights on uh, in, the, in the vehicle. So, uh, I wanted to uh, talk about um, a thing came out. I don't know if it was today or uh, maybe it might have been a couple days ago. Um, apparently, uh, apparently the Steam Link is basically dead. And if you're not aware, the Steam Link was is a uh, little box, and its entire given purpose was to stream your PC games to your TV, which I think is a pretty nifty, nifty idea. Um, kind of came out of Valve's whole kick with uh, their their Steam machines. Uh, instead of it being something explicitly for uh, playing games on, though, it was something is something. I, I, I say was, but so I'll, I'll get to it. Uh, it was more or less instead of something that played games. It, stream the game from your PC to your TV. That's all it can do. As opposed to the Steam machines that were full-fledged Linux boxes that nobody bought. Um, so, Valve has stated that going forward, they're not going to manufacture any more Steam machines and that they are almost out of stock in the United States. I think they said that they are out of stock in the, in the uh, EU. I'm not 100% on that. Uh, I just kind of glanced at the uh, forum post about it. But what does this mean exactly? That I'm not sure. So yeah, I feel like it could mean one of two things. One, that's it. The whole Steam Link thing is over and done with. Valve has decided that it's not worth pursuing any further. And they're going to support the machines that are out there for the time being. But beyond that, it's over. Uh, the Steam Link app has been available on Android for a while. They're working on getting it back on iOS. Apparently Apple had it removed from the App Store for some reason, who knows, who cares. Apple does things because they feel like it. So that that could be what, what they're focusing on, is just getting people to install the app and just support that. Uh, alternatively, there is the hope that... Uh, Maybe they're going to put together a, uh, a follow-up device. And at first, I was hesitant to think that that was going to happen. And I'm still not super sold on the idea. But I did think about it. And it could just be that the original Steam Link, for all that it was capable of, is capable of, it doesn't have the specs to do some things. It just doesn't. Uh, even things that mobile devices can do, like play 4K video. So uh, I don't remember all the specs offhand, but I do remember that uh, the Steam Link has a single core, I believe, CPU that is clocked at, I want to say, uh, 1200 megahertz. It might be like 1800, but either way, I'm fairly certain it's below 2 gigahertz, which is... Ooh. I mean... I've, uh... I've seen laptops from the mid-2000s with more respectable specs than... Holy shit, it is dark. Uh, with more respectable specs than the uh, Steam Link. 
And, you know, that said, the, the Steam Link didn't need to have super great specs to do what it needed to do. But at the same time, if the hardware video decoder could only deal with maximum of 1080 or maybe 1440p video, then what are you going to do? Now, if they were to release a follow-up unit, one would assume it would be capable of decoding 4K video. And maybe that's all it is. I mean, look at the look at the most recent Apple TV. The most recent Apple TV, it's only, it's only new feature is that it can do 4K and I think it does HDR, but I, the previous Apple TV, I believe, got an update to allow it to do HDR. So I think it can only, it, it does 4K, and that's like it. And that's probably because they just had to upgrade the HDMI port to uh, whatever HDMI allows for 4K HDR. Meanwhile, you know, the Steam Link, they'll pro they, if they're going to release a follow-up device, I don't really know what they would do other than that, but maybe they'll, maybe they'll upgrade it a bit. Uh, most people probably aren't aware, but the original Steam Link, the Steam Link, I don't know, the Steam Link actually did have a sort of SDK. It wasn't super supported. Uh, it was more or less they uh, they handed out the, the dev tools and just said, here you go, do whatever. Um, they, they open sourced a lot of what made the Steam Link work and said, go to town. Uh, but I feel like I remember the few projects that tried to spring up out of that didn't really go all that well because the Steam Link has such garbage specs. Uh, I feel like they weren't even... There, there were attempts to get a Plex server running on it, and even that was iffy at best. And I don't remember the reason, all the reasons why, but I'm willing to bet that the single core, you know, less than less than two gigahertz processor was probably the main part of that. I want to say it also didn't have much RAM uh, at all, which again, it doesn't have to. You know, why would you need a lot of RAM whenever the entire purpose of the unit is just to stream video? And stream a very specific kind of video using a very specific protocol. <laughs> like, everything about that was very purpose-driven and you know, I, I kind of get it. The, short of using an ASIC, like, that, that the Steam Link was very much designed for one specific thing. Um, so, maybe they'll make a more generalized version, or maybe it'll just be a, it'll just be an HDMI port bump, and they'll start manufacturing more. Uh, I don't know. I don't know which would, which I would prefer, because on the one hand, if all it is is just a port change, then it'll keep being unbelievably cheap, because the Steam Link is unbelievably cheap. But the wording on the, on the forum post made it sound like they're just not going to make any more devices or at least none that will be referred to as the Steam Link. Um, maybe they'll make something <laughs> with a different name? I don't know. But at the same time, when you consider that the Steam Link app is geared towards uh, Android TV set-top boxes and Apple TV devices, I guess, from Valve's perspective, what's the point in them offering the Steam Link 
whenever there are other devices that can fulfill the same need while also fulfilling multiple other needs. And I guess my response to that would be I don't have any desire to buy a TV OS box, Apple TV. I, I don't have any any inherent desire for that. I don't have any desire to buy an Android TV box. My OG Chromecast does everything that I want perfectly well. And whenever I do want to stream something to my TV, as far as games go, the Steam Link serves that purpose perfectly. But I can also concede that most people, most PC gamers are going to probably fit into one of two categories, being they're going to be hardcore PC gamers who are not going to have any desire to stream games to their TV because they'd rather just sit at their desk and play on their 144 megahertz monitor at uh, 1440p or whatever. And the other group are going to be more casual or at least less autistic and are going to be gearing more on the on the side of having a a TV setup but those people will probably also have things like a uh, like a like a, a an Apple TV or an Android TV or whatever. And when you figure that, I want to say when the Steam Link originally came out, it was something like 40 bucks, and an Android TV box is typically somewhere around 50 60 dollars if you don't get one straight from China that's full of malware. And I guess that's the argument, right? That if you if you're trying to market this product to a group of people, who are you who are you really trying to sell it to? Because it's probably either a group of people who don't want it in the first place, or a group of people who already have devices that perform the same action. So I don't know. I I, I feel like it was already trying to hit a niche market, and now that that market is fulfilled who else is there to sell this thing to and maybe that's kind of where Valve is going with it or with, with that thinking because keeping a big back stock of these devices that no one's ever going to buy just seems nonsensical right? Continuing to manufacture these things when no one's purchasing them doesn't make a lot of economic sense so fair enough Uh, yeah, so I, I guess I inadvertently kind of covered both things there, because yeah, I, I think it's either it's either going to be that they're discontinuing all Steam Link stuff, they're just going to go straight up apps, and I I don't necessarily like that idea, although I understand it, or they'll create a follow up device that will do I don't know what. And I guess the, the only other question is, would I personally want to buy one of these devices? And I think the answer might be no. And I think that's reason to believe that Valve doesn't have any, any real desire to continue down this road because think about it what else do you do but add like other media streaming capabilities and and create a, an SDK for it 
like a, like a real one. And if you were going to do that, how many people are going to buy it if they already have an Android box? Because that's basically what it would be, but probably even more limited because you're not going to necessarily have it running Android. It's not going to have the power of the Android ecosystem behind it. Now, maybe it would, but even then, why would they do that? You know, why, why Why would they want to manufacture something that there's already a pretty saturated market for? Like, yeah, there's not a ton of big-name Android set-top boxes, but there are enough, I think. There's enough choice. Like, the fact that you can get five or six different brands of them at Walmart. <laughs> at Walmart is indicative enough to me that there's not really any additional need. They don't need to compete with Roku and <laughs> and um, Xiaomi. I think, I think Xiaomi, Xiaomi has one. In the U.S., it's, it's the I, I think I think it's that that orange one, or whoever. You know they they don't need to compete with those, and it seems like a waste of money to do so. So, yeah, I I guess I've kind of, I've kind of worked out the answer. They're probably just going to to kill it off and just go with the apps because why not? But we shall see. I just hope that they keep making controllers because I think there's a lot of potential there. I hope that they take what they've learned with uh, developing the Knuckles for uh, the Vive will teach them how to make a better Steam controller V2. But again, I guess we'll see you on that front as well. All right. Well, I'm going to pick up my drugs from the Walgreens drug store. I'll see you all later. <laughs> Toodles.